What is up guys, Steph and I Fabrication here and today we will be doing the Necroface uh, Decrophile. So yeah, uh, first off, uh, you have been probably seeing the replays, uh, I have uh, actually exchanged some cards, so those cards are, let me just move this quickly, I have took out, <coughs> I have took out one uh, Pot of Desires, one Eater of Millions, uh, one, I'm not sure if you can see this, yeah I can, uh, Arcana Force 8 I believe, no, lol, it's like, 21, whatever. I can't see on the proxy the world. Um, and uh, triple soul absorption. Uh, the reasons behind this changes is soul, absor soul absorption is not really, you know, con gaming card. You gain life points, but you know, at the end of the day, you know, in the most of cases, that will not uh, work. So yeah, it's a fun card. Don't get me wrong, but you know. Uh, world just breaks too much, and it's not that hard to summon, but you know, the uh, gamble effect is just too much. I'm just bad luck. Uh, one inch of millions, I still, ha still have two in the deck. Uh, these two are out mainly because I uh, ditched this, because you know, there's no point in playing the those more than uh, two, because I will not gain life points. And yeah, I don't want to banish that much because I reduced the uh, number of cards in deck from 42, uh, 44 to 41, so Zars kinda hurt, so you know. So yeah, let's get right onto the deck profile. Alright, um, so we have, of course, standard um, double necroface. Uh, mainly, uh, my friends kind of ask me how the fuck does this deck works, and I'm like, I don't know, bro. Um, so mainly, uh, when a necrophase is normal summoned, uh, shuffle all removed from play cards into their owner's uh, decks. Um, so it uh, he uh, gains a hundred attack for each of those cards. So if you have like your opponent banished, you have 20 card banished, 20 cards banished, and your opponent has like 10, uh, Necroface will gain uh, 3,000 uh, attack. So it will be at 420, yeah, uh, k, uh, 42k. Um, and when it's removed from play, uh, both players return top f the top five cards of the deck. So it's kind of you'd kind of see the idea. Um, it's a level five and dark, so you can just use it for exceed summons, uh, synchro summons, and mainly for link summons, but it's mainly gonna stay in your hand to normal summon or, like, banish. Okay, so the uh, other card that is really important is a um, Fairy Tail Snow. Snow, because, uh, actually, she, ban she banishes cards, so you need to banish your Necroface, your Giant Rex, and uh, DD uh, Scout Plane. Uh, so that's how the deck works, you just Continually, uh, continuously uh, special summon those and just gain free pluses of snow. Of snow. Also, he, she can interrupt your opponent's plays because she can set uh, one of their monsters. So when she's normal summoned or special summoned, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls, change it to face-down defense position. You can't do that on their link uh, monsters, but still, it's cool. It's a 1,850 uh, bidder. And uh, you know, it's 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 really awesome from this deck. You must ditch her to the grave as fast as possible. So another important cards we have uh, triple giant rex. Uh, basic basically, uh, he can't attack directly. He's a 2k beater, which is really really solid. Uh, level four and um, what? A, uh, yeah, you can um, special summon him when he is banished, but only once uh, per turn. You know, you can only use this effect once per turn. Um, and yeah, what he says more. Uh, and if you do, uh, if you special summon him by his effect, he gains 200 attack for each of your banished dinosaur monsters. So if you have like banished, uh, banished two rexes, one of them returns, he will become a 22k beater. So that's that's not actually bad. So you just 
disabuse him to summon snow, so you'll be uh, your field will look like you know vanish everything, especially summon two. Uh, look to use this in the end phase. If you can't, it's fine. But in the end phase, you can just special summon them both, and that's like plus two monsters. Uh, moving on, uh, triple DD scout lane. Um, actually, uh, I thought this is bad, but it's it's really cool. Um, it's a level two, which is which kind of sucks. But you know, when uh, if this card is removed from play, special summon it in uh, face off attack position during the end phase of this turn. So you can banish it in multiple ways: by necrophase, by snow, by um, allure of darkness, left arm offering. Um, that's about it, I think. I think. Um, and you know, in the end phase, it returns. You just use it consistently. Use it to special summon itself, and it's a free target for snow. These two guys are free targets. Just banish them; they return, and you just banish them over and over and over again to summon your snow. And yeah, it's really, really good in making link plays because you just make link and. You just you know just banish them and return them back and just do it all day long. It's it's really cool. Um, then moving on to the Lightsworn engine, we have Raiden and we have Lila. Um, nothing much to explain here. Uh, the Raiden it's a tuner. It can mill. Uh, Lila it can mill. It's a back row hate. It's in fact it's the only back row hate in the main deck. So you need to side like. Uh, twin testers uh, or MSTs or whatever you like to play. Uh, only two light horns because I don't need actually more. This, these two are just just fine. Uh, moving on to the little Metaphys engine. It's Metaphys Ragnarok. What he does is um, he's a tuner. Uh, if it's a normal special summon, you can banish the top three cards of your deck, and if you do, this card gains 300 attack for each Metaphys card you banish by this effect. Okay, that's not really important. <clears throat> but uh, banishing three can sometimes save your ass, how to speak. Uh, you can accidentally banish Rex to go for a rank four plays or a link plays or whatever. You need you can special summon the goddamn Angel of Zera. And the rest of the effect is not uh, important because it uh, requires other Mathis cards. Uh, it's yeah level four light, uh, 15k beater. I mean it's not really a beater, but it can work out. It's it's a good, it's a it's a decent card for this deck. Uh, moving on, uh, double eight of millions just to get rid of problematic cards, and actually um, uh, by KO zone you can s uh, it's searchable by KO zone because if your KO zone has one or more counters on it and it gets destroyed you can just search eight of millions which is not that bad but three is just too much. I don't like to banish that much from extra deck because you actually need your extra deck here. And uh, then uh, for surprise, we have a uh, double Kraz. Um, uh, it might seem a little stupid, but Kraz is actually what you know bring this deck to life. Um, I've been testing it at locals, and I saw that I kind of need more draw power, and Kraz is the perfect solution. You can even freaking tribute that summon uh, him when he's normal or, or special summon you can target up to two cards in the field destroy those targets and if you do each player can draw one card for each of the cards they control that was destroyed by this effect so you can just destroy your own two cards which you mainly do to draw more and uh, the, the downside with him is this card cannot attack during the turn it is normal or special summoned so you're gonna mainly uh, pop him and you can just banish him over and over again with snow and with KO zone you can just special summon him over and over again and uh, note that he is not once per turn so you can just special summon him twice or just tribute hunt summon him once and special summon him twice so you can just draw 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 more uh, your deck kind of um, uh, empties itself in like two or three turns you will have like four cards in your main deck or whatever but it's it's fine. You can just re recycle everything with your necroface. For spells, uh, triple chaos zone. You're uh, kind of heart and soul of the deck beside necroface and all of the shenanigans you can do. Uh, it kind of um, let me just read you the effect. Um, each time a monster is banished, uh, place one chaos counter on this card for each of those monsters. For so for each. Uh, once per turn, you can remove four or more ca chaos counters from uh, your side of the field to target uh, one banished monster with a level equal to the number of chaos counters removed. Special summon the target. 
Uh, when this card on the field is sent to the graveyard to buy your opponent's card effect, you can add one light or dark monster from your deck to your hand whose level is less than or equal to the number of chaos counters that were on this card. So, um, basically, yeah, it's a failed spell. Uh, um, you can basically just special summon uh, your monsters from Banish Zone over and over again. I mean, once per turn, but, you know, every turn. One also, and you can also special summon your opponent's monsters that uh, were banished. So it's not bad, not that bad. You can steal like an Omega or whatever. So it's it's a really really good card. Um, you you need to open it, or you need to open the uh, terraforming. It's it's such a great card. Um, so yeah, trip terraforming. Um, that's about it. Search for your field spell, which is really important. Uh, triple gold sock, um, gold sock. Mainly, you're gonna banish Necroface. Um, I, when I say mainly, I think I mean when you have Chaos Zone, it pluses you the most. Cause you like literally get free um, counters, and you can just start your blaze. Um, the other targets are you can just banish Giant Rex and it special summons himself on the field. You can banish uh, Diddy's Scout Plane for later if you're like in the middle middle of the game. You can banish Snow and then special summon her with uh, Chaos Zone. You can just do a lot of things. You can like banish Kraz and then special summon him with the Chaos Zone. Uh, it, it's it's a great card for this deck. This is like the MVP. Moving on, uh, we have a triple left arm offering. Uh, left arm offering um, mainly is better in the version when you have played uh, like 60 cards. Uh, the, that grass looks greener. I, I forgot the name of the card. But um, I don't like really that build. So I'm playing uh, left arm offering. It's not bad. Um, you, I mean, it's great when you have in your hand like Diddy's Cup Lane or Giant Rex or Necroface or like Kraz. Whatever you don't need, it's just a free food for a left arm offering. It banishes, so it fills up your counters if you banish monsters. And mainly, uh, if you have like chaos on the field, you just banish whatever from your hand, search for gold sarcophagus, activate it, banish necrophase, get more counters, and you see what I'm trying to say. You just start your plays like that. Uh, sometimes uh, I just do left arm offering to search Foolish Burial or uh, Charger of the Blight Brigade or, you know, or I even search for terraforming to search for a chaos zone so Snow can, if you have Snow in the grave, so she can just make counters on your uh, chaos zone. It's, it's, a good, it's a really good card. Uh, then, speaking of charge of the Light Brigade, double charge, uh, not triple because I'm playing just two Light Swarms and it actually doesn't brick that much. Sometimes if you have it like, let's say, bricked, you could just normal summon Necroface if you have it and then recycle the deck and then go just um, over and over again to mill. It's really important to mill in this deck because, um, you know, you play snow, so, you know. <coughs> uh, draw power cards, uh, double desires. If you banish your double necroface with desires, you're kind of done. Um, you know, <laughs> uh, draw power cards, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, double lure, because um, you know, banish. You know, you can g like go gold sark for necroface. Uh, for two t uh, in two turns, you can return. You just go lure and banish it again, or banish like DD scout plane for your hand with this, and it's gonna just special summon in the end phase. What are the dark targets we have? Yeah, sometimes you don't even need, um, what's it called, either mill, so you can just banish it. Um, that's it. That's all that the dark targets. That's why I'm play only playing two. If you don't need it, you just banish it for, uh, what's the name, um, left arm morphing, or if you special summon Saruja and just shuffle it in the deck. It's, it's not that bad. Uh, let's go uh, for one O's. You have one Ray Gecky, of course, uh, to clear your opponent's field. Uh, one Dark Hole to, you know, clear your opponent's field. This is still in the testing, uh, still testing, so yeah. I don't know. Dark Hole, it's fine. Uh, one Foolish, of course, and one Monster Born, because you can steal your opponent's monsters. Or just pass some your own, like you use Kraz's effect, you return to Kraz, and you do the same again, and it's it's really good. Moving on to the extra deck. 
Alright guys, for the extra deck, we actually play one Clara and Rush, Rushka, the, oh fuck, the Ventrilo duo, I hope I pronounced it right, um, you don't really summon her that much, she does seem useless, but if you're playing second, or in some mid game, you probably kind of, some things need it, uh, it basically says, um, to summon it, yeah, the link materials are one normal summoned or set monster, and her effect is cannot be link summoned except during the main phase two. Uh, zero attack and just the link uh, arrow is up. Uh, basically, uh, if you really really need snow in your graveyard and it, the only snow you have is in your hand, uh, you just in the main uh, normal summon the snow. Uh, go to main phase 2 and just use it to special summon uh, Clara and Rashka and you have your snow in the graveyard. Later you can just banish this as a free food and just start your plays uh, from there. Uh, then we have one proxy dragon, uh, one Lemphol Linkus, I think it's the fact. It's not into the ECG uh, yet, but you can just exchange it for Burial Dragon or whatever you want to play, like Omega or whatever. Uh, Proxy Dragon is really good because you just special summon your DD Sculpt planes and you always have something to ship it. So it's like an anti Ray Gaki or Dark Hole. Um, for Link Trees, we have a uh, 1 Deco Talker, Talker, and 1 uh, Gaia Knight. It's still the old uh, Japanese proxy, so I hope you can just see it. So yeah, that's Gaia. For Link 4s, we have 1 Suruja. Uh, it's you know, your go-to link, you you just go into him the most, and you just draw and stack, and it's it's re it's really good. And one Firewall Dragon, because mainly when you special summon Suruja, you will just, in the same turn, special, be special summoning the Firewall Dragon, so you can just, you know, Poland's play, you have Snow, and you have Firewall Dragon's effect, and it's just great. In, it's like in almost an instant win. Uh, for exceeds, rank four is uh, one Minerva, because she mills, you know, that's about it. When she dies, she mills, mills some more. Uh, one Baguska, because it stops and gives you some time to recover or gather resources. Uh, one Trinity Dragon, because, you know, she can just sometimes end games, you know, just pop in your up turn and pop one uh, spell trap in your opponent's turn. It's it's a quick play, so uh, rest in peace, Pendulums. Um, one Castell, still still running the good old Castell. <coughs> then we have a one new Utopia, because you know we're playing it because of the um, big Utopia, the uh, Lightning. And yeah, I forgot the last but not least. We are playing one Evolzer Evol <coughs> Dolka. Uh, Dolka, what? How do you summon Dolka? Well, you have uh, dinosaurs in your deck. Um, actually, just three of them, but, um, you know, if you draw one and you banish one, that's one special summons itself, you normal summon the other one and you can go with Dolka in first turn. It's it's really good. I mean, it's not the best card you can just summon. I don't play the Lagia, because I think the Dolka is better, because you can use Dolka later and Lagia is kind of, uh, I don't know. Lagia is kind of better, but uh, yeah, I like Dolka, so I don't know. You can just experiment with that, but Dolka is really, really cool. Uh, rank 5 is just uh, Utopia the Lightning. Uh, and for Synchros, level 8, just one Synchro, Angel of Zera. Basically, what Angel of Zera does is um, this card gains one heart attack for each of your opponent's vanished cards, so it, it becomes huge. Uh, yeah. Uh, during the same phase of the next turn after this card was banished, so anyhow, from field, from graveyard, from uh, uh, yeah, from field for graveyard. That's it. Um, uh, where the uh, special summon it, uh, special summon this uh, banished card. So in the, uh, the next standby phase after it's been banished, uh, you can only use the effect of uh, Angel of Zera once per turn. So that's why you're playing one because you can't use two of them. So you basically, ba special summon it in your extra deck zone, and you can banish it with Snow. And it's special summon itself in the sun phase. You can save it from your opponent's Regeki effects, whatever. Or if your opponent kills it, you just banish it for the uh, snow, and it, you just gain. You you know, like let's say you banish Angel Zera, one or two of Scout Planes, one Giant Rex. 
So it's just the free free bosses. You get the special summon snow, giant rex, and in the end phase you have a uh, skull plane, and in the standby phase you have your angel there. So that's like link four for Saruja. You do your thing, and then you know you can in your turn you can just banish again, go snow, go rex. And you know, in the end phase, you have again gain this, and in his time of phase, the Angel of Zera is returning. You can even go for Baguska, you know, what, whatever. There's just a ton of crazy plays here. You'll figure it out if you're kind of committed to the deck. And yeah, that's basically about it. Um, this took, uh, this is actually a really, really long video, so I'm just gonna end it right here. So, next time, Stephanie, notification out. Mimi, I'm